March 5th, 2019, 2.11 p.m. On a fine sunny Tuesday where it's 39 degrees. Um... This is episode uh, 398. Did I say that already? Probably not. Or so did you hear her twice. Da, 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 da. Uh, so, did you watch any of that whole CPAC thing? If you're like me, you, you did not. You, you only saw highlights. Or, or the low lights. Oh, they were so low. So low. Um, most of the entire thing was just, even before Trump gave the incoherent rambling thing uh, for two plus hours, it was just this one long event of complaining about AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Seriously. You know, freshman representative without any leadership position who can't run for president yet for like six more years, she's not old, old enough. They spent the entire time bashing her. Um... Just bashing her, bashing her, bashing her. It's like a crazy uncle with the 28 Facebook memes a day about her. Seriously. And these are the people, this is what gets me. These are the people that accuse people like me of having Trump derangement syndrome. They're, they're yelling about AOC wanting to ban cow farts, wanting to ban cows, wanting to ban hamburgers, uh, wanting to ban airplanes. Uh, Donald Trump even made the claim that, you know, if the wind doesn't blow, then you can't watch TV because electricity can only work if the wind is blowing. Now, obviously, Trump displayed something else that he does not understand, but the, the Green New Deal doesn't call for that at all about the whole wind technology thing. Um, it doesn't ban airplanes. It does not ban cows. It talks about feeding cows differently. Um, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump Jr., Sebastian Gorka, you know, the guy that's like uh, the Ira, the pajama boy. I can't do his voice. I can't. I maybe if I worked on it. But anyway. Why would I want to do that? How can a bar use that voice and get slapped by girls? Um, <laughs> Chris Hayes did a good <laughs> impression of it last night. It was hilarious. Um, but these are people that, that are, who are supposed to be honest. They're not supposed to be idiots. Either they're liars or they're idiots. Or maybe they're both. Um, because they're all talking about ha these hamburgers. For four days, they talked about hamburgers being banned. Four days. Was freaking out about her. Who goes to these conventions? Really, it's just like a huge asshole convention. It's like, you know, I really just want to hang out with horrible people. I went to a Trump rally once and I had to leave. <laughs> no, I mean, they didn't make me leave. I had to leave. I had to get out of there. My friend and I was just, no, 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 we just had it. It, 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 it was just. I felt like I was in a Munich beer hall in 1932. I mean, it, it was just nasty. Um, so, I can't imagine being one of these things for four days. No wonder these people are so angry. Because they get all angry and worked up, and then they hang out with each other. And that just got to make you even more of a jerk. I mean, uh, but these deranged people, they, they accuse liberals of having Trump derangement syndrome because they have legitimate reasons not to like Donald Trump to be concerned about him, to oppose everything that he's doing. And these people are depending on I, I, I've been saying for the last two years that the people who, who truly have TDS are the people who support Trump because they just overlook all the, all the lies. They look at all the hypocrisies. They, they just overlook everything. They look the tre they overlook the treason. You know, they don't care. They, they don't care about none of it. And I had a couple of other issues to do. I've been meaning to do something with Jared, but last night I was wondering, is that one kind of slipping away? Let me do this one. And after I had already settled to do this one, the whole Fox News thing came out, and I think I gotta do that next. I think I gotta do something on the Fox, helping Trump win. Remember when they were, oh, oh, I should get into this next cartoon. No, no, I'll wait for the next cartoon. Ugh, I'm gonna rant incoherently. All right, not two plus hours, so just like six more minutes. Um. President Oso asked about Trump and the flag. If he loves it so much, why doesn't he marry it? Well, he didn't marry Stormy. Uh, the man is crazy and made another cartoon in the final space. Well, okay, go check out his cartoons, people. Uh, thank you, President Oso, for the comment. Let me give you clicky for the thumbs up you thingy. I don't know what I don't know what that does for you. I, I really don't. Uh, I'll give Errol some uh, thumbs up too with one of her 25 comments. Um, Errol said I hadn't seen the quotation. Quotation: When fascism comes to America, it will be wrapped in the flag and carrying the cross. I kind of want to look it up. Now, well, look it up. Uh huh. Apparently, it was just some mix of several different quotations in there. Wasn't really one person who said it. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said in the blog. Uh, 
Yeah, look at you know, you read the stuff that I read. Yeah, I already seen that. Uh, Era also said, for most of the 30 seconds to one minute that I was entertaining Trump in that shrill and voice, she had no idea what I was talking about. Well, th that's the true Trump impersonation. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's not the shrill one, but I don't even remember the shrill one. I won't do that. Do it again now if I can help it. Uh, you forgot the acronym. It was CPAC. Uh, she has no idea what I was talking about. Uh, and that voice is like nails on a chalkboard. You know, Donald Trump's actual voice to me, whenever, especially whenever he gets ranting and getting crazier and crazier, his voice to me is like nails on a chalkboard. I'm like, oh my God. I, it's like, I, I gotta change the channel. And since I only watch news during the week, I change the channel to another news station and it's still there. Uh, uh the Lithopedian, did I say that correctly? Lithopedian, um, came in and gave a comment. Thank you very much for your comment. That was just a shout out. I may, may have done it incorrectly, but uh, I'm trying. Um, uh, Lithopedian said, love your work, Clay. The comments are the only good thing about this era. The cartoons. I was like, I that in inspiration for parody and cartoons, except for those right-wing sickle fans, Scarison. Just talk about another cartoonist at all. Plus, all the new art and artists in this... In, this maniac has inspired P.S. Also do a daily cartoon under a different name. You should let me know what that is. I'll let other people. I'd love to check it out. Thank you for your comment very much and for the kind words. I'm not going to say anything about Garrison. The guy can take care of himself. Let Garrison do Garrison. Uh, Emily said, uh, is happy that good things are happening for me. Yeah, me too. Uh, can't wait to hear what things are. Da, 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 da. And Emily just bought Captain Marvel tickets. Totally unrelated to cartoons, sort of. But I am excited for the movie. I'm excited to see, see that movie too. And I think it opens uh, this weekend. Yeah. I don't know if I'll see it this weekend, but I plan to go see it soon. Maybe next week on a slow day. On a day day. In the middle of the day. I go see a movie. Um... Tuesdays are cheaper, so I might go on Tuesday. Here in the middle of the day. Depending on, on how my sleep special is going. Um, and Robert Cortino wanted to point out that for all those wondering, this, the second flag in the last cartoon is the Russian flag. And he was wondering if the blue I, I, I used for the flag was too light. It probably is, but I wanted some contrast, so I made that blue a little bit lighter and the blue on Trump's clothes a little bit darker. You will notice on this cartoon that I changed the color of these signs and I stopped recording and I, I colored these signs like three times. Three times, people. I spent an hour coloring this whole thing uh, that I, re I recorded about, I think. And um, probably another 30 minutes just coloring these damn signs again. <laughs> I have given up on making AOC look like AOC. I uh, just won't be able to know it, sir. And at some point they will. In the context, though, I think they get it. Uh, and Robert Cortina also wrote, I hope that Trump humping the flag does not become a mainstream thing for cartoonists. And he goes, ah, what it did for the day. Because uh, there's been about 48 of them. There's almost as many Trump humping flag cartoons as there are uh, anti-AOC memes on your crazy uncle's Facebook page. I used the acrylic spray for the background for this cartoon instead of like uh, my clumpy brush and then I went back over it with the clumpy but whenever you try to do a light skin tone on um over that it, it almost comes out kind of greenish so I had to do to erase it where all the skin was for the light skin oh, that's just a little nerdy details there for you Cartoon to be done now. It's like I'm done talking about it. <laughs> I almost forgot to get CPAC in there. I had to get in there a little bit somehow. And I was going to throw in some more people, but then I thought it was going to be too messy, too, too jumbled, so I didn't do it. I know, I, I refrained from a real crowd scene. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
you, you're listening to me like trying to figure some shit out. <laughs> Yeah, amount of things to say. I gotta start making these things so uh, long. Yeah, the last few have been about this long, like 11 minutes. This is 11:25, and here we are. We are done. I want to thank you all for uh, coming. Yeah, I also changed that text above at the top. Yeah, I could have talked about that because uh, it just seemed like a speech flow and was too jumbled up with all the signs. Okay, leave a comment. You'll get your very own shout out. I want to thank everybody coming in. Our Katina, like the podium, uh, Ariel, and Emily, and uh, click the red button, please, and. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay? And it'll be a lot of fun if you do. It'll be great for both of us. So you guys come back on Wednesday and there'll be another cartoon for you. Goodbye. Have a great day. Bye, 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 bye.